Okay, good evening Facebook and uh, welcome to the first of many uh, card of the day with myself the Mystic Witch, i.e. Lady Moonlight. Um, just to let everyone know, I've had about a week or so's break from social media, um, but I'm back full bang. Um, with a few changes which I'm going to talk about first before I go on to doing um, my card of the day. The first major change for the Mystic Witch is that we no longer have a Mystic Witch group. Um, you will find that all my lives are on this public page and that's so that um, my readings can be available to everyone. Hi Lucy! Um, whereas I found that the group kind of restricts um, and not many people can find groups here on Facebook so we're gonna um, test trial all my lives right here on page um, so that's one of the main um, changes is that the Mystic Witch group here on Facebook is no longer um, that went yesterday um, so if there's any of my followers that were in that group are wondering what the heck happened to the Mystic Witch group, um, that's what's happened. <laughs> this is the only Mystic Witch um, page here on uh, Facebook, but you'll also be able to get me on the Mystic Witch on YouTube. I'm also under the Lady Moonlight on YouTube as well. Um, but the Mystic Witch one is where you'll get like all my readings, my meditations, etc. The Lady Moonlight's more like ghost hunting, things like that, more more kind of like personal stuff. A little bit of an insight into Lady Moonlight's world, if, if you like. Um, so that's one of the main changes. Uh, you'll also find me on Instagram, under the Mystic Witch. Everything is under the Mystic Witch. So if you're wondering where I am, just type in at the Mystic Witch and you'll find me. Um, I'm also on TikTok. Um, the Mystic Witch uh, music group is still going strong. I will put the link to that music group below. So um, feel free if you love music of all kinds to go along to that group as well. Um, that group is still open. Uh, the Mystic Witch um, wellness group is also still open for anyone who wants to get a lot healthier in 2022? Um, good health is at the forefront of my life. Um, if I'm not healthy, I can't send healing to those um, that need healing. It's as simple as that. So um, good natural health is um, important to me as a traditional witch. Talking of which, um, before I get started, I'm going to make up my supplements. I use um, natural herbal supplements uh, every day. Um, one of the main ones that I like um, to keep my weight under control and to burn off excess fats that the body really doesn't need. I have my Ignite. If anyone has tried Ignite, they know how powerful um, this stuff is. It is. Ignite is um, it's a thermogenic and um, if you google thermogenic you'll find the thermogenics um, raise the blood temperature to a point where um, it starts to burn fat and it's usually the fat that is stored on your hips, your thighs, ladies you know what I'm talking about right, um, we eat a cake and it goes on the hips. You know, what is it they say? One second in the mouth, two inches on the hips. Um, exactly. It's because Ignite um, has three times the amount of green tea in here. Um, and it really is an all over. If you know about green tea, you just simply add it to water. It's a little pixie stick that you add to water. And it tastes absolutely amazing. 
comes in different flavors this one is coconut blast love coconut blast but i also take um a collagen supplement this has got kind of like five different types of collagen in here um and it we need collagen um it's the main structure for our skin right if you think of scaffolding holding your skin in place holding it taut holding it firm um that's what collagen does uh and yes i use um face creams moisturizers etc and toners and primers etc that are really really good for that as well but you need collagen on the inside as well as the outside because as you get older we lose collagen this has collagen hyaluronic and high doses of vitamin c as well um, which is super important and the good thing is you can mix it together so you kind of make a, a fruit cocktail out of it Exactly, a moment on the lips, forever on the hips, unless you've got Ignite. Um, you know, I'm sure Lucy um, would be happy to share her results on this page at any time. Um, I was actually going to invite Lucy to be admin, but I don't know if you would like that responsibility, Lucy. And then Lucy can kind of share her um, wellness um, reviews with you on there. And if not, she can um, leave a review. There you go. I knew she would. <laughs> Lucy is my witchy sister. Uh, and when we're together, we are um, we are trouble <laughs> with a capital T. Perfect. I will organise that after my live um, because I'm sure that Lucy would love to share her um, health journey with you as well. Um, do you know? I'm in my mid-50s. I'm over mid-50s now. Who am I kidding, right? Um, I'm, I'm nearer the 60. <laughs> but you know what? I'm, I love to grow old disgracefully, right? I ain't ready for the big heavy... I've had the big heavy wrinkles. And I didn't like them. You look in the mirror, right? And you see that the um, little tiny country lane becomes the M1. And you think, yeah, it's time I needed uh, to get my collagen levels up, my hyaluronic levels up. Um, so uh, I will be sharing um, the supplements that I use. Um, I'm an influencer for a wonderful um, company that I've added to the Mystic Witch called Avira. But we don't just do Avira. Um, we... Uh, we have expanded um, and I love their principles as well because their principles is all about health and beauty naturally. That's what the Mystic Witch is all about. So when I found out about Avira and their philosophy and their, um, you know, that they are animal cruelty free, they are uh, vegan friendly as well. Um, they use natural herbal um, supplements that work. You know, green tea is our number one seller, right? Green tea um, supplement is our number one seller. Why? Because it has over 200 health benefits. It's good for the skin. It's good for burning fat. It's good for overall health, builds up the immune system. It's good for skin, hair and nails. So if you've got weak nails, the green tea is going to um, really boost that. Yep, I have, yeah, my hair is super shiny. It's always, you know, I can wake up in the morning and I know that my hair is super shiny and it is super long. Um, whereas before... I was um, looking back 
uh, on my time off on photos that I had um, before I started with Avira and my hair was like straw, it was split, my skin was so bad, really so bad, I looked like um, a woman of 80. So in my opinion, you know, anyone that knows me knows that if I buy a product or I use a product and I don't like it, I'm going to be the first one to tell you don't get that, don't buy it. Um, you know, because if I've wasted my money on a product that doesn't work for me, there's no way I am going to um, promote that product on the Mystic Witch. So, um, as well as card of the day, which will be every day right here on the Mystic Witch um, page, um, you're going to see a lot of um, health and beauty products. Um, all our cosmetics are natural. There's no parabens, there's no sulfates in them. Um, I don't do chemicals. If I put chemicals on my skin, my skin reacts really, really badly. So um, I needed to find a company um, where I could use products that I could really, really trust. Um, and uh, when I did find it, uh, it took me 50 years to find it, but when I did find it, it had to be, there was no question it was getting added to the Mystic Witch. Um, you'll find the link to my natural product shop above um, in the top uh, announcement post. All my links are there, all my um, card readings are there, my pricing, everything is all um, at the top of the page. Um, so every day you'll get a card of the day right here and also uh, this live will be shared on my YouTube channel as well. So if you haven't gone to the Mystic Witch or the Lady Moonlight YouTube channel, go along and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. Um, you know, and shares are always, always welcome. We have a review section on here as well. So if um, you've had a reading from me or you've tried one of our products and you, you love the product, leave me a review. Reviews are always welcome and I think that's why I like this page rather than the group because you can leave reviews for everyone to see. I know, my hair is way, way, it's really long. <laughs> I love my long hair. Um, witches need their long hair. So, um, just to carry on with what's new, um, so we have this page only, right, so we don't have the group. We also have a wellness group, um, which I will put the wellness group link, but you'll also find it on my website, which again, the link to my website is up there, it has everything um, to do with that. Every Wednesday, right here, you can come along and pick a rune stone. So Wednesday is going to be Rune Readings Day. Runes are, are ancient and uh, Nordic um, divination system. Uh, and you can ha uh, get runes in the form of stones, wooden chips, crystals or staves. And I use all, all of those methods. Um, and the system requires that you um, mix up the ruins, you draw them, and uh, you then read the symbols on them, the ancient symbols. The good thing about um, ruins is they are brutal with the truth. So um, if you're wanting a true accurate reading, uh, then come along tomorrow uh, and get a ruin reading. Um, and that's going to be every Wednesday. So on the Wednesday, I will draw the ruins and post them here on page. And on Thursday evening, I will um, read the ruin stones that you've picked. So just come along on the Wednesday, between the Wednesday and the Thursday evening, pick a ruin stone and the ruin uh, reading will be posted right here on page on Thursday evening. So that's on a Wednesday, every Wednesday, starting from tomorrow. Um, 
On Friday, I will be launching my healing jewellery. I haven't done it for a while, um, but it's a new year, new season. We're in a pandemic um, that's been going on for two years. The world needs healing, right? So um, on my time off, I've decided I'm going to be doing more crafting and doing my healing products. Um, from dream catchers to uh, healing jewellery, etc. Um, what was what? What did you see that I didn't see, Lucy? Yeah, I will certainly do a little bit more about ruins. Um, I might do a live in here about ruins and, uh, or I might do a little live on the witches uh, coven group about ruins and, and how to cast them and how to read them. Um, they are really, really um, a good old fashioned divination system. Uh, usually when I'm wanting to consult, um, for a specific reason. I will always, always consult the ruins over the cards. I had something by me. Wow. I have no idea what got knocked over. This is the most haunted room in the house that I do my readings in. Um, We've had lots of spirits visit here. Um, not so long ago we had, uh, I, I was actually sleeping and my partner got to have a conversation with one of our resident um, spirits. He was a World War I soldier um, who had his leg amputated um, and he thought he was still on the earth plane. It was so sad. Ah, right, yeah, I did see the camera wobble. That sometimes happens. That sometimes happens. The camera gives a little bit of a wobble. Um, but yeah, we do have friendly um, spirits here, thank, thank goodness. Uh, we haven't encountered any um, dark ones. Yep, definitely male. Definitely male. Sometimes we play music in here. I actually have um, this little music box here. Um, this is a, a little music box that I um, bought. And it wasn't expensive. It was just, it reminded me of my mother's um, old sewing machine. And when you wind it up, um, let me just wind it. So when you wind it and you open the drawer, it plays music. But it's an unusual one that if you listen closely, it has a duff note. But you can see the pedal works and stuff on it. There's the duff note. And when you close the, the drawer, it stops. Now we've been out of this room and we've heard the music box going by itself. And when I've came in the room, the drawer has been open and nobody's been in it. Um, so they do like to play around with my um, music box. So I always keep this music box wound up um, because they do like to to play. Uh, we also have a witch's doll which you can see just in the corner over there. Her name is Helga um, and uh, she sometimes cackles and her light, uh, her eyes light up 
um, all by herself. She's supposed to only do that when there's like loud music or if you clap your hands loud or whatever. Um, but th there's been times that nobody has been in this room and she's cackled. And uh, in our old home, she used to have a habit of cackling at 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, and I had to literally scrape my partner off the ceiling um, because, you know, when you're in a deep sleep and you hear a cackle and you wake up to flashing red eyes, then, yeah, it's a heart, heart failure moment, right? Um, so we decided to turn her off using the off-on switch. And the next morning, 5 a.m., on the dot, whether, you know, with the on-off switch being turned to off, she still cackled. Hence, uh, for a little while, her batteries were removed. <laughs> but you know what? It's the duff things that we have that are the most haunted. Helga, when we got Helga, the, the witch doll, she was um, a, a display only because... Um, her arms were supposed to move and they didn't so they just used it as a display and I had to haggle with the guy in the shop um, because I just knew Helga had to come home with us um, and you know music boxes with duff note you know if it doesn't work how it should chances are that items um, haunted um, we also have a creepy clown uh, which I will show you, who, who, that is also haunted. Um, and again, we were on holiday, and um, this little guy was underneath a lot of boxes um, in an auction. Um, so I just saw the hat popping out of the box and decided I needed to take this home as well um, and again when you wind it up again this clown goes off by itself So this is our creepy little clown with his little feet and his little trumpet. But yeah, this is our little creepy clown. So I'm going to put him back on his shelf where he belongs. So yeah, um, Spirits love anything that has energy in it, whether that's um, cameras, phones, tablets, etc. They will tap into that energy, um, whether it's through electric, whether it's through batteries or wind-up toys. They absolutely love that because it gives them more of an energy. Um, same with crystals, if you've got crystals... Um, keep your crystals charged because it brings energies. Every time I do a card reading, I'm always lighting my candles. Candles give um, light and light attracts spirit. So um, there you have a little bit about our haunted um, things that we have here uh, in our haunted room. I also have my altar at the back as well. My little witch's altar. Um, so, going back, we, we always get sidetracked. Always get sidetracked when I come back on live. Um, so, going back to what's new in the Mystic Witch, we have this page only. We have the health and wellness. We have the music page. We're going to have ruin readings on a Wednesday. Um, and the answers to the runes will be on a Thursday evening. Um, Every day I'm going to be doing a card of the day and during that card of the day you feel free 
to come along and ask me to pick a card for you as well, um, which I will do. I know Lucy wanted a card today as well, so she's going to get a card after the card of the day as well. Um, it just gives me a chance to be able to pick a card for you. Um, if you're not watching me live and you would still like me to pick a card for you, leave your name in the comments below um, and the next day I will add your reading um, to the page. Yep, I know you always like um, a card reading. So, um, I always consult Spirit before doing my uh, live card of the day and for some reason they want the moon cards I love the moon cards their energy is amazing so I'm just gonna give these a good old shuffle to see what the moon cards have to say um, but yes it has it, you know I've only been kind of offline for about a week roughly about a week um, we had a bereavement in the family and it was my um, cousin's funeral yesterday so yesterday wasn't a good day um, but because uh, I originally planned to come back yesterday uh, and no I had to dedicate the day to my cousin um, so but it is good to get back and thank you to everyone who sent messages saying how much you have missed the Mystic Witch. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, but I have missed you all as well so I'm just going to um, split these cards. And uh, Lucy's grandmother has entered the room because my candle is going bananas. And that's before I even start reading Lucy's uh, card. I have got to know Lucy's um, grandmother in spirit quite well. She's a regular visitor to um, my cards of the day, especially when Lucy's here. Um, she must smell Lucy's perfume or something because she's always here. And the wind has picked up outside as well, which is spooky. We have spooky wind today. We love spooky wind. Right, okay. Usually I just split these three times, but for some reason Spirit are asking me to split four times. So, okay, I'm going with it. Okay, so let's see um, what today's card is. Exactly. Take time to breathe out. And you know what? If there was anything that I learned during my week off going on multimedia is this very thing. Take time just to breathe out. You know, we're too busy running around, um, trying to fit everything into a 24 hour day and then kicking ourselves because we can't fit everything into a 24 hour day. And the last thing that we think about is ourselves. Now, be truthful with yourself. When is the last time you decided that you were gonna have an, a full hour just to yourself? Whether that's to meditate, whether it's to read a book, whether it's just to have um, lunch uh, with yourself or with your partner or whatever, um, whether it's to pamper yourself with your, uh, you know, face, with your nails, your hair, whatever. When's the last time you had a full hour that you could do that? Right? Um, and I can guarantee that most of us are going to say, I can't have five minutes to myself, let alone a full hour to myself. Now, if that's you, then this card is saying you need time to breathe out. You need time for yourself. You need time where you can turn off the phone, turn off the television, turn off whatever, and just breathe out. Just have that you time. Now, that hour could be spent crafting. 
It could be spent reading a book, you know, which improves your knowledge. It could be spent reading cards. You know, it could be spent doing knitting, crocheting, whatever. But just, there, there goes the camera. <laughs> but just taking that time to just breathe is so, so important. And this card comes out quite a lot. And it's because we're so busy rushing around. We do live in what they call a rat race, right? If you've seen a family of rats or a group of rats, they never stay still for one second. They're always busy, you know, they're bustling around um, constantly, um, chasing their tails, chasing the world or whatever else. That's why um, the term we live in a rat race came into play. Many years ago, when we had no television, right? when we had no radio, whatever, right? We spent more time for ourselves and people were more in tune with their spirituality. People were more in tune with the planet and all that surround them and spirit realm. But when you bring multimedia into the, the, the fray, all of that gets lost along the way. And we forget how important it is to spend a little bit of time just chilling, just being in the moment, and that is so important. It is very much so, you know, this was um, what I needed to do for the whole week. Initially, when I decided not to come online, it was only going to be for the weekend. That weekend turned into a week. Because Spirit were basically saying, no, no, no. You know, you've been on the go 24-7. You need time out. And that's exactly what I did. And I had, in that week, I had so many messages from people saying, we miss you. When are you coming back? You know, when well, I'm back. Um... And lesson learned even for the likes of me, um, I've decided that my daytime is going to be dedicated to the Mystic Witch and my evenings are going to be dedicated to me and my partner or me and my family, as it should be. Whereas before, I was constantly doing lives, I was constantly posting, I was constantly, um, you know, being here and not being with family and friends, not having that time for me. Um, and it took a bereavement in my family to sort of draw me back to that. And it's also a reminder that life is so precious. We only get one chance at this life. You know, I've lived six past lives. You know, and um, each, each past life we have each lifetime we have lessons to learn and if we don't learn them in one lifetime we, we come back and we learn them again and again and again and only when we have learned life's lessons that's when we um, ascend into spirit realm and we guide from the other side. I remember one of my witchy sisters said to me not so long ago, how many lifetimes do we get before um, you know, we, we move into spirit. Um, and from my past life experiences, um, I've been told seven. It can take a maximum of seven lifetimes before you become what they call, as some people call as ascended masters. Because we've learned all the things. You're never going to learn everything in one lifetime. It's just not going to happen, right? Um, you need to learn lessons. Have you ever had that those moments of deja vu where you've come, gone into a room of strangers and you've said something or you've done something and you get the hairs on the back of your neck raising and your mind racing because you thought, I've been in this room with the same people and I've said the same thing at the same time, but yet that's impossible because I don't know anybody in this room. Has anyone ever had that? Chances are, if you've had deja vu, it's a past life memory. 
it's taken you back into a situation that you had in past life that you maybe did wrong and it's given you that second chance to put it right. So always um, pay attention to those deja vu moments because and jot them down, you know, um, and meditate on them and say, okay, this is something I obviously did in past life and I did it wrong. So have I done it right this time? Yeah, all the time. There you go, Lucy. All the time. Lucy gets it all the time. You know, um, true story. Myself and my partner went to York one day. Now, I had never been to York in this lifetime. Never. Um, and I'm excited because York is an ancient um, English city. Um, and it's built, um, it has battlements all the way around it. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. And it has um, <clears throat> an old uh, shop there, which basically is called sang witches. <laughs> Sandwiches, which is Sandwiches. Um, and it's the oldest building in the shambles in York. And we decided to go in and have um, sort of, sort of brunch in there. Um, and you could feel the energy. And this um, was the oldest building in York. Uh, and it was built in the 1600s. And they hadn't changed it. It was still as it was all those years ago. And the energy was really, really um, powerful. And walking up and down the shambles, I knew I'd been there before. And one evening we left our hotel to go out for the night. Uh, and we came out. Now, my partner had been to York before he met me uh, a good couple of times, right? So he knew York better than what I did. Uh, and we come out of this bar and uh, we were going to go back to um, the shambles, to walk the shambles at night. And my partner said, I think it's this way. And I said, no, that's the wrong way. I instinctively said, no, that's the wrong way. I think the shambles is up there to the left and to the right. Um, and, you know, he said, but you've never been here. And I said, just trust me. So he says, okay, we'll go your way. And yeah, I led it. I led him straight to the shambles and he was gobsmacked. He's like, how? You know, you, you've never been here. How did you know? And again, it's that deja vu. It's that just knowing that that pure knowing that even though you haven't been here or done that or been there in this this lifetime you've been here in the past lifetime so always never miss those deja vu moments never miss those opportunities and sometimes the best times to get that deja vu moment is in the time where you just breathe out so um I hope I've um, helped in some ways to let you understand a little bit about deja vu, what, why we get deja vu, it triggers, you know, a moment in time can trigger um, past life memories. Yeah, exactly. And this is the, this is the thing, you know, um, if how, somebody once said to me, how do we know we've lived in a past life? Well, if you've got deja vu or you've had experiences of deja vu, chances are you've um, lived a past life. Um, one evening I may um, get the past life cards out um, for the card of the day so that if anyone uh, would like a past life card drawn for them. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that on Friday. Let's make it Friday. Friday I will um, do my card of the day as usual um, and I will also have my um, past life cards um, on standby for anyone who would like a past life card which would maybe give some insight into their own past life. <laughs> Friday then, I will jot that down that Friday is going to be... Um, the uh, past life cards so uh, if you're not able to watch me or uh, live on Friday and you would like a past life card um, 
picked for you during my card of the day then please um, let me know on the Friday or the Thursday whatever um, I will put a reminder up on my live card of the day live on Thursday just to say that the uh, past life cards will be on Friday so yeah Lucy's all for that one <laughs> okay I love my green tea when I'm doing lives it's just so tasty so um, I'm gonna pick a card for Lucy now um, as well so Lucy I know loves the old faithfuls so I'm going to shuffle the old faithfuls excuse my iPad it's having a little moment to itself honestly between iPads um, making funny noises, cameras getting shaken, the energy is high. So let's shuffle these um, old faithfuls. Because I know that Lucy gets excited for my old faithful. You can see they're old. Um, phew, bless me. I always get the sneezes. I'm sure somebody in here, one of our spirits, must have had... Um, sort of a flu, maybe a, the ancient um, flu that was a bit, way back in 1920s, I think. They had, I think it was back in 1920s, they had their very first flu, um, which became known as our regular flu. Uh, and I swear there must be a spirit in this room that has had that because um, I always get my allergies eventually in this room. Don't get, <clears throat> don't get them in any other room, just this room. So, you know, spit it like to share and share alike. Either that or it was Lucy's grand to clean my nose. Which is a possibility. Yep, definitely, definitely. So, yeah, we're on the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022. Spooky, all the twos. Never thought of that when I was... Uh, that's probably why I had to um, come back on all the twos. So, yeah, that's right, it was the influenza. Um, it lasted a total of one year, um, and uh, yeah, it became what we now see as flu, um, but unlike um, the COVID, it wasn't man-made. So let's uh, give this a good shuffle. And it's a Tuesday. Yes, it is. Very powerful energies today, I'll tell you. Well, it obviously is because uh, my camera is uh, my camera. My camera is um, uh, banging around. I have my candle is going. As you can see, it's going absolutely crazy. Energies are super, super high today. So, uh, yeah, I definitely need my green tea today. Okay, so we'll split one more time. Your nan is saying, keep going. How many times does she need these shuffled? Right, okay. Right, are you happy at that? Yes, she is. Okay. So, you have got... The Nine of Pentacles. And as you can see, the Nine of Pentacles um, is a lady such as yourself um, who is walking forward. Um, and in the past, finances weren't that great. You know, it was kind of like um, Rob Peter to pay Paul situations. Um, and you've had to work really, really hard to get to where you are now. 
and where you are now is your finances have increased tenfold and the bird of freedom is within your grasp you have the freedom to be who you want to be you have the freedom now um, to make all your dreams all your plans um, everything that you've worked for is coming together there's going to be happier um, times where you feel more free more in control whereas before there was more restraints I feel that this card is saying um, it's also indicating that um, nature spending time in nature is also so important to you now more than ever um, whereas in the past that time was limited and it's like now that's so important that when you have your free time it has to be in nature it has to be um, you know where you can just feel free just to breathe feel free just to be you is the message of this card all that is behind you um, is all the negativity um, and it's inviting you to um, really look at what needs to be kept and what needs to let what needs to let go all right because we have things that we need to keep but we also have things that we like to keep a hold of that really we should let go and this is what this card is saying you know when we have things weighing us down we can't spread our beautiful wings and fly because we are we are pulled to the ground right that heavy load that we carry drags us down and we can't soar to um, amazing heights the only way that we can soar to amazing heights is to release the weights that hold us down and then we can open our beautiful wings and we can fly high um, so you know I make it a point in my everyday life that if something is negative I let it go I light a candle and I say, you know what? I don't, want, I don't want, nor do I need this burden. Release it, and that's what this card is saying. Yeah, exactly. Working on releasing. Now, I'm not going to say to you that you can release everything in one day. You can't. You know, I have traumas from the past that I am still working on. But, you know, I went through 30 years of abuse um, before I met my wonderful partner almost eight years ago. We're coming up for our eighth anniversary in April. Um, but before that, I went through 30 years of hell. And let me tell you, it was hell. But I'm still releasing from that 30 years of hell. You know, don't, you know, when this card is asking to release, it's telling you that this is a slow process. It's going to get better and eventually you're going to release everything. But don't be too much of a, in a hurry to do that because when we are in a hurry to release a lot of past hurt or a lot of past issues, we, we risk the, the, the chance of missing vital things that we, we just can't release because we're so much in a rush to, to release all the negativity that, we, that there's a chance we're going to miss something out. It's like counting, you know, it's like um, when you've got a whole jar full of coins and you empty that jar and you're counting them and you're trying to rush through the counting chances are you're going to miscount and then next time you, you double check you're going to find that you're one or two coins out and that's because we're rushing through things so this card is a reminder that yes things are getting better but it's a case of releasing take every day to release even if it's just releasing one thing a day right or one thing every couple of days don't do it all in the one. Um, it doesn't work and it never will work because you're going to always forget something. So always take time to release. 
It could take months. It could take years. But the main thing is, every little thing that you release is gone for good. So it may be slow progress, but it's getting there. My favourite story is the tortoise and the hare that had the famous race, right? Because it reminds us, you know, that nothing was ever achieved in a hurry. And if you don't know the story of the tortoise and the hare, tortoise is slow, hare is very quick. And one day Tortoise decided to tell the hare, let's have a race. And the hare rubbed his little paws together and thought this is going to be a piece of cake. And he laughed. And he said, yeah, let's have a race. And they set out a long race track with the start and the finish point. And they started the race. And as predicted, Speedy Hare tore off in front. And he was minutes away from the finish line. And he looked back and as per planned, saw no sign of tortoise. Oh, for goodness sake, he said, I need that tortoise to see that I've crossed the um, finishing line. So I'll just have 40 winks under this tree while I'm waiting for Slowpoke to catch up. So Little Hare took himself to the tree at the side of the road and had 40 winks, which turned into 50 or 60 winks. Meanwhile, Tortoise is taking a steady, slow walk along the track till he reaches the sleeping hare. And he smiles and carries on walking the few yards to the finish line. And within seconds of reaching the finish line, Speedy Hare wakes up, looks around, sees Tortoise almost at the finish line, too late. By the time the hare has got up from the tree and ran that little extra few yards, Tortoise has finished the race. So slow and steady always finishes the race. So never rush anything in life. Always take things step by step by step. Small baby steps lead to huge goals. Yeah, exactly. And you know, flashbacks, triggers. When we've gone through traumas in life, there will always be triggers. And it's how we deal with those triggers. Do we cling on to those flashbacks and triggers or do we release them when we get them? Right? And those triggers can be painful. Right? They can be painful triggers. And they can they can swirl around in our head if we allow them headspace. Um, I've had so many triggers in life. And sometimes those triggers do swirl around in your head and you spend the whole day thinking about those triggers. It's only when you decide, okay, this has triggered it, you know, or somebody has triggered this um, flashback, something or an, an event has triggered this flashback. I don't want to own that. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to burn it. It's gone. Next, please. And it does get easier. It's never going to be pain-free. It never will. Right? Triggers are never pain-free. They can come up and hit you at any time. Um, but it's how we decide to deal with them. We can let them, we can rent them headspace or we can release them and let them go. Um, and if we rent them headspace, it's just going to weigh us down. We need to be like the bird. We need to open our beautiful wings and fly high and soar high and that's the message of this this card it's keep doing what you're doing Lucy keep um, releasing one step at a time never be in too much of a rush you're gonna get there in the end as you said it's getting easier maybe not completely pain-free but it's getting easier and that's because you're doing it 
at a slow and steady pace and you're not rushing it. You're not um, kind of going full speed like uh, the, the hair did. But yes, so I hope that card had meaning for you today. Um, and I hope um, if anyone's watching this on the playback that the card has meaning for you. I will be doing a mini card of the day over on TikTok as well, um, which I will share to Instagram. This card reading will be shared on the Mystic Witch on YouTube and I will also be sharing it on the Lady Moonlight channel as well. You're more than welcome. It feels good to get back. Um, I'm going to be um, going over to the music group shortly um, and putting some um, witchy music on and some old music, some new music, some modern music or whatever. Um, if, you're, if you love music, come along to the music group. I will put the link above um, for the music group. Um, everyone in there is so friendly. Um, and, you know, if you've got a, a favourite YouTube um, music video, come along and share it. Let us all hear it. You know, if you like to sing like I do, share, it, share one of your songs with us. Um, music is the, um, the, the, the food for the soul. We can't live without, well, we can live without music, but um, it would be a dull life. Um, even in our home, you go in our kitchen, we've got the radio playing for the birds because we have two African parrots and they love music. You go in the living room and we have music playing in the living room. And when I'm not doing readings in here, sometimes I um, ask Alexa to play music in here. Uh, old, old um, wartime music, etc. because the spirits love to listen to music. So. Whether we're playing music in our home, whether we are listening to music in our home, or whether we are singing, there is always music around us. Music is a huge part of um, my world, um, and I couldn't survive or do what I do without it. Um, if anyone would like, um, you know, me to do a, a, a chant evening where I can get my native drum out and we can all do some chanting uh, live here on the Mystic Witch, please let me know. I'm more than happy to get my native American drum out and uh, we can do some drumming and chanting. Um, so let me know if, if that's something that you would like to see in the Mystic Witch. Um, also, uh, I'm hoping um, if the page starts to pick up, that I can do some more meditation nights as well. But we're just um, building up the Mystic Witch page, slow but sure. So uh, tomorrow, join me here for a, a live card of the day. Um, and also come along and pick a ruin stone. I will be drawing the ruins tomorrow. Um, so come along and pick a rune stone and I will give you the ruins answers on uh, Thursday evening as well. Uh, Friday um, will be the card of the day but I will also be bringing my past life cards with me for anyone who wants to delve into uh, their past life, that wants a little bit um, of knowledge into their past life, who they were, what, what did they do in past life, what was their job, what was their occupation. Um, the past life cards are really, really powerful cards. I use them a lot, um, especially if I'm getting deja vu, I will grab my past life cards and I will draw the, the deck and ask, the de uh, I, I will ask and consult the cards and say, okay, why did I get this deja vu? Take me to the point where this deja vu is relevant to me. What lessons did I have to learn from that deja vu, etc. So they are a really, really good deck to have. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to doing that past life uh, cards on Friday. So uh, even if you can't join me live on Friday, if you would like a past life card, then get in touch. Leave me a message and say, can I have a past life card for Friday? 
I'll be back tomorrow with another card of the day. Again, if you would like um, me to pick a card for you in tomorrow's card of the day, leave me a message below with your name and I will be more than happy to read the card of the day, uh, to read a card for you during my card and thought of the day. I hope you found this um, card of the day and readings etc um, helpful. I'm sure um, my little bits of seeds of wisdom will help you today. Um, enjoy the energy today. There's a lot of really, really powerful energy. We have windy storms outside, which I love. I love, I love storms. We've had quite a few storms um, over the month, and uh, I just love to go out in the garden and just embrace the energy of a storm. It just clears away the cobwebs. Um, yeah, I'm that mad witch that goes and stands in the pouring rain and the storm and stuff like that. Um, I just love the energy of it all. So I'm going to uh, head off and uh, feed a hungry partner because <laughs> it's uh, dinner time over here. Um, but I will be back tomorrow with another card of the day. I'll also be sharing some products on here tonight because um, I know since I've been off for a week we've had in, a few new products coming um, in. We've got new lipsticks out, uh, stiletto lipsticks I believe. We've got... Um, new sportswear, uh, we've got new foundations as well, so I'm excited to share all of that with you. So take care everyone. Lucy, thank you for joining me. I'm going to um, add you as admin um, for the group so that you can um, share uh, your experiences, um, especially with health, etc. And uh, I will also, I, I believe we've got um, Stacey Hibbard is an admin here as well. Um, and she's really, really wise sister as well. Lucy and uh, Stacey have been uh, by my side through thick and thin. Uh, you know, we, we all follow the craft together and support each other. So it's going to be lovely having Lucy on board with us. Um, so there's going to be chaos <laughs> because the, 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 the three uh, main ones are going to be uh, right here on the Mystic Witch. Um, but we also have uh, our other sisters following our path. We have Jen, who's a wonderful, wonderful, um, talented witch as well. Um, and we have Wendy as well, who uh, is one of our witchy family as well uh, and I know that they follow this page as well so um, I'm going to officially welcome Lucy today as admin to the Mystic Witch and I'm sure she's going to um, share her own health experiences with the natural products because the Mystic Witch is all about natural products that's not going to harm you or the environment or the earth We've got way too many chemicals on the earth. We need to reduce our carbon. You know, we need to be more aware of our carbon footsteps on this planet before it's too late. So if we can um, improve our health with natural, yummy tasting supplements that do work, um, trust me, they do work. Uh, I'm 57. I make no secret of it. I'm 57. There is no filters on this live. What you see is what you get. Um, and it's all to do with collagen in our supplements. It's all to do with using chemical-free um, properties. You would be surprised at how many chemicals are in your pharmaceuticals, i.e. anything that you buy in a pharmacy has chemicals in it. Scary, right? Your makeup that you buy in... Um, supermarkets and stores uh, on the high street they've all got chemicals in them right and, and we're putting these chemicals on our our skin or we're consuming chemicals on a day-to-day -day basis we need to um come together as one uh, and this is what the mystic witch is all about mystic witch is about healthy eating 
um, using natural um, herbs such as uh, Japanese green tea which is a really really strong tea, it's the strongest tea that you can get. You might be saying well I buy green tea from a health shop. One bottle of our green tea or our Ignite is equivalent to um, 29 cups of health food green tea. You'd have to drink 29 cups of the health food green tea before you could get the benefit of one of our green tea. Use the Ignite, you can three times that. Right? So, um, if you lack energy, I'm just going to give mine a little shake. If you lack energy, this is going to boost your energy as well. Um, a lot of people say to me, oh, I'm so tired these days. I'm thinking, well, try the Ignite. You're going to be on rocket fuel for the rest of the day. Do not drink Ignite before bedtime because you ain't going to sleep. All right, because it's, it's, it's um, a thermogenic. It's going to um, give you more energy. More energy warms up the blood. Warming up the blood burns more fat. Um, if you're not so um, fussed about um, or you don't have weight to lose, then definitely try our green tea. Um, it's not as strong as our Ignite green tea. Um, so you're not going to lose as much weight. But it is good for your skin, your hair, your nails. Uh, my hair is always, as you can see, super shiny, super soft. I love it. Um, and I would never use any other um, supplements. So thank you all. And I'm off to cook dinner and then do some more posts later on in here. Um, thank you all for your continued support. And I look forward to card of the day tomorrow. Till then, take care. Love and bright blessings from myself, the Mystic Witch.